I used to despise changing my transmission filter and fluid because of that little son of a bitch right there, the filter seal. And trying to get it out of the transmission case, man, we should have been born with three hands, you know? Well, some people are. Um, but yeah, there's a, a better way to get that out. Let me show you. And I should preface this by saying that this is <clears throat> only my experience with a 4L60 GM transmission. That's the only one I have any experience with. But this little dude right here um, stays up in the transmission body and it's hell to try and get out. So there's an easier way to do it. And it has to do with this little gizmo right here. All it is is just a, a half inch pipe nipple and uh, i put something on the bottom this t will do fine just something to help you screw this up into the into the uh um uh, seal and then you can just once it's tightly screwed up in there then you just tap on this part right here with a hammer tap down kind of wiggle and stuff pulls right out so here's the offending little unit right here and i've tried picks and i've tried uh using the screwdrivers bending it over and so forth with no such luck so what we're just we're going to screw our half inch nipple up in there like so <sighs> And then we're going to tap, tap, tap. Hold on. I'll be back. Well, I'm sorry to say that I couldn't film it. And also with my little hammer, I couldn't, I couldn't get enough leverage. So I got a mallet and I put a little uh, thing on there so the mallet would hit it. Because I was shaking and I can't hit this little T. So anyway, but all you got to do is screw it on up in there into the seal there it's not going to mess up anything in the top of the uh, of the case there and just tap on this right here until that seal comes on out and you are a happy camper and just reset that seal with a socket and off you go you're welcome see ya